I'll ask again. What do you want? To meet you. Hey guys, Ultimate DJs here with another teaching trek video for you. Lots of stuff to cover in this video and we're excited to share it with you. Before we start though, please be sure to click the subscribe button. Click on the little bell notifier for future notifications about other videos that we do. Like this video and leave your comments in the section below so that we can answer those moving forward. Folks, <laughs> we just finished another Giorgio option uh, or auction and uh, we have been talking about whether or not we believe that Giorgio is worthy of the title of Epic. So uh, we have done plenty of testing. Shout out uh, to a couple of players on my server, Charmed. Thank you very much. Big Country, of course, and uh, Clyde and a couple of your guys. Thank you guys so very much. Appreciate the testing. Okay. Um, and mathematically, uh, to read it, to read it, you would have thought so. Uh, mathematically, it's not panning out. So here, here's what I'm seeing. Okay, and uh, I'm going to start with her captain's maneuver. This is where we didn't know. As a matter of fact, even in the early video when we consulted with Ripper, we said, hey, this looks really good. This reads really, really well. However, further testing is needed. So I did set my disclaimer. Further testing is needed because her officer card reads like um, it reads like an anti-prime officers for attack. All right. It reduces the attack of the opponent's uh, stats, attack stats, by 100%. Now, that sounds amazing, but we, we do know that there's scopely math involved, all right? So it's not reducing it 100%. Your attack stats are not going to drop to zero, all right? The early testing that we found indicates that she is dropping the net yield, all right? Because, Gregor, you like dealing with net returns. The net yield of the attack seems to be dropping somewhere around 2 or 3%. It's not big. Not big. And that got me puzzled, folks. I started wondering why. Why, if she's reducing the attack stats by 100%, why is she not doing more to the opponent's attack? So let's talk very quickly, guys, about what contributes to the ship's attack. All right, let's do some teaching tonight. What contributes to a ship's attack stats? All right, there's several categories. Well, here's what's happening, folks. Here's what's happening. Let's take the North Star, for example. Let's take the North Star, for example, and the healthy mining bonus. Do you guys remember when we talked about this several months ago? The healthy mining bonus on a North Star takes into account the base stats of the officers. However, it does not change the base stats of the officers. Okay? Meaning that let's pretend base officer A has attack of 1,000. Then you have Academy, let's say you're Ops 30 and you got Academy 30. Then you're getting a 30% boost from the Academy bonus on the stats. So now that officer's 1,300 instead of 1,000. Um, and let's say then that you put, it, uh, you put it on a ship and let's say you're at Ops 30 so you don't have any advanced training. Let's say you don't have that research. Let's also pretend for a minute that you do not have any stat boosting officers on your bridge so you don't have kirk you don't have marla mcgivers or whatever her name is okay you don't have anybody that boosts stats on your ship so that officer who had a base of a thousand basically with your academy bonus now has 1300 that gets thrown on the ship that gets calculated and used in the stat bonuses for your 30 or 60 or 90 or all the way up to 300 percent all right. That is calculated based on the total stats uh, on that on that player's ship. So if I am flying in an epic ship and I have 9,000 total stats, then I get a 300% bonus. Okay. Now, what we have determined, for example, with the North Star, is that officer statistics are not used in the calculation of the healthy mining bonus. For example, the academy bonus, the... Um, advanced training bonus, the stat bonuses from the ship, none of those are factored into the healthy mining, uh, healthy mining calculation 
for the North Star. The North Star is is just recalling the actual base value and adding a bonus based on the calculation for that. Well, folks, here is what's happening with Giorgio and why I am now slightly more disappointed in this officer. Not not majorly, because she still has a very good use on the officer ability, and I'm going to explain it to you in a moment. The officer or the captain's maneuver of Giorgio removes 100% of the attack from the opponent, okay, by herself, like no synergy, okay, 100% reduction. So here's what's happening, folks. You've got that same officer that has a thousand attack, and you've got your um, your academy bonus, you've got your advanced training bonus, uh, you've got all the other uh, officer stats that are getting you to the 9,000, okay? Now, when Giorgio procs, she is not removing a hundred percent of the calculated fields. All right, she's removing one hundred percent of the base stat, and by the way, that is not impacting any other calculation. So, when your officer starts with a thousand, gets an extra thirty percent from your academy. Uh, at Ops 30, and that goes up one point for every level of the Academy. At Ops 40, you've got a 40% boost. Uh, by the way, we're not even thinking about Prime Officers. Okay, Prime Officers adds 100%. So, again, you got an officer with a base value of 1,000 attack. Prime Officers makes it 2,000. Advanced Training uh, can add 6 or 10 or 12%. Uh, the Academy bonus is going to add more. So that officer, then you put it on a ship. Because what they're doing with this calculation is going back after Prime Officers is buffed, after Academy Bonus is buffed, after Advanced Training is buffed, and Giorgio is removing 100% of the base. Biggs um, is on a ship. He has 1,692 attack, but he is on a ship. He's not engaged in combat. Big, you're an Ops 45, right? So he's getting a 45% increase from his academy. He's probably getting a roughly 6% increase from advanced training, or maybe more. He, he might be getting more from advanced training. Uh, he's also probably getting a 100% boost from Prime Officers. Now, Big, take Kirk off your ship and re-upload his stat screen from the Officer Carousel, please. All right, so we can see Kirk is he's contributing 1,692 attack stat points towards the ship bonus, which is getting you up to the 300%. All right, hey, thank you, Neo. Looky there, 505. That is the base value stat. So what is Giorgio doing? Giorgio is taking the 1,692 final final value for Kirk, which, by the way, is actually in hindsight a terrible. Uh, example because Kirk's stats get buffed even higher in combat. All right, but what Giorgio is doing is taking 1692 and reducing it 505. Now that still sounds pretty daggone good, right? You're literally taking almost 30 percent away. Except now uh, accumulate that between the other two bridge officers and everybody on your lower deck. And here's why your net yield could be 2 or 3%, and it could be 10%, and it could be 0%. All right? Now, we're going to use this one officer, for example. But Big, uh, if you would, throw Kirk back on your ship uh, and show... Well, you know what? We can see it. Click on Big screenshot where Kirk was on the ship. And if you look in the background, you can see, of course, he's got his 30% bonuses all the way down, attack, defense, and health. And you can see that his attack bonus is 31 thousand three hundred and ninety which by the way is just stinking insane that's insane thirty one thousand by the way uh on an epic ship you're only required to have nine thousand so folks here's what Giorgio is doing she's going to take let's pretend that it's roughly thirty percent all the way across the board in big's case Okay, let's pretend it's 30% for all officers in the case of big country. She's going to take that 31,000 value and ish. Again, we, we have to do this process for every officer, but let's pretend that it's generally 30%. Then it's going to take that 31,390 and reduce it by roughly 9,000, uh, 30%. What are we left with? 
we're left with 22,000. And here's why Big, if I'm battling him with George O, will have virtually a null effect because he still has his 300% attack bonus. All right, that was an incredibly long-winded explanation. Did I lose anybody? The only way that you get a significant drop, and when I say significant, I mean for the player who said, uh, Hydra, who said, well, I'm getting almost a 10% drop. You're only going to see a, a bigger drop on a player that is borderline on that 300% bonus. Meaning that if you take away, let's say Big is on an epic ship. We know he's on a Stella, but let's pretend he's on an epic ship and his attack is only 10,000, for example. And we're going to take away 30%-ish. That's going to be 3,000 that comes away. Well, he's now under the 9,000 required for the 300% bonus. Now he's only got 7,000, which means his bonus is going to drop to 240%. All right? And when you can effectively get somebody to drop their bonus, that is how Giorgio is going to get a little bit better. Okay? So... Is Giorgio the officer that I hoped that she would be against a higher level player, a player like Big Country? No, she's going to have virtually no effect in the captain's chair because big stats are already so daggone high that reducing his attack stats is going to give me virtually no benefit. The, the best use of Giorgio as captain, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm going to say it, Gregor, I'm going to say it. The best use for Giorgio in the captain's chair is actually against a lower level player who doesn't have their stat bonuses where they need to be. And I know that's, yeah, Bizarro, you got it. Low to mid players. Uh, I am going to say, unfortunately, unfortunately, I have been disappointed in her performance in the captain's chair. Okay. I was hoping for big things in the captain's chair. She's not providing it for me. Uh, there you go. Okay. She's out of my captain's chair. Now, let's talk about her officer ability, which is arguably much better. Um, let's look at the only other officer that she uh, compares to with her officer ability. Uh, not the only officer, but we've got Charvenik. We've got Nero, and now we have Giorgio. All right. Now, Charvenik is a use uh, of a different kind. She has to be in the captain's chair. All right. So you are losing the captain's uh, position if you use Charvenik. And by the way, I think Charvenik is a very pretty daggone good officer. Okay. Uh, she induces burning if the whole health drops below 80% during battle, 80% of the starting value during battle. So if you go into fresh, uh, a fresh uh, hull and your enemy takes you down to 80%, then you've got you know, a chance to proc burning with Charbonnet, okay? Plus, her officer ability uh, is really good. That's a, def uh, a stat, not a stat booster, sorry. She's using the stats of the ship to increase, uh, oh God, armor piercing, thank you, uh, armor piercing. All right. So uh, she is pretty daggone good. All right. She's pretty daggone good in the captain's chair because she's actually offering you uh, two benefits there. Armor piercing based on health, and she's going to do burning, but not until you're already at 80% of your starting hull health. All right. So decent burning officer there. Better than Nero? In my opinion, yes. All right. Because I think Nero is the worst burning officer there is. All right. Nero's captain's ability is to reduce your weapons, uh, reduce your opponent's weapons damage by what, like 40% or something, or 60%, which, by the way, sounds great, but it's 60% going all the way back, using the exact same formula that we just talked about, and making it 60% reduction of the base value, which means it's hardly noticeable. It's there. It's probably a, another 3 or 4% decrease in damage. Not a huge thing, because they're reducing it by the base value, like we just discussed with uh, Giorgio. But Nero's officer ability has long been discussed as broken, or, and I argue that it's not broken, it's working the way it reads, which is just a crappy card. All right, Nero is the worst of the core epics in the game because Nero causes uh, has a chance to cause burning to the enemy when you hit it, meaning that it doesn't proc at the beginning of the round. It waits until you fire a shot. The reason that this is a problem is that the first shot that you're going to fire in round two is the obliterator, and if 
you fire the obliterator, then Nero has a chance to proc. All right, for quote unquote two rounds. All right, but that round counts as one, and you've already thrown a shot and you've lost your obliterator. So then maybe uh, you get uh, a couple of energy shots. Okay, maybe you get a couple of energy shots that are burning, which are garbage. Okay, it's garbage. Now, here's how Giorgio works and why I like her better than Nero. Giorgio has a chance to proc burning at the very beginning of the round. Now, Medic says Nero is broken. His burning only lasts for one round. No burning officers activate in the round that Nero uh, procs. Because those officers, by the way, proc at the beginning of the round, which is why Nero sucks. Okay, if the if the officer abilities for the other places that for the other officers that need burning, if they proc in the very beginning, burning hasn't activated yet. Burning activates by Nero in the middle of the round, and so the other officers aren't going to proc. He does last his burning into the next round, but for the for the purposes of your officers who require burning, they only have one chance because they're only going to proc in that second round. All right, which is why Nero's garbage. Okay, uh, as an as an officer ability. Now he's great stats. He belongs on the lower deck. I use him on the lower deck. Okay, and I have typically used Charvenic or God forbid, I know this is going to sound crazy. Uh, sometimes I run Morale on my Augur. <laughs> I run Kirk Spock on my Augur uh, because I'm running Marcus on my Enterprise. Okay, so he's a great stats officer. I'm not saying don't work on him. Super super great stats officer. And, by the way, Nero, when he procs at the appropriate time, the obliterator works. Okay? Absolutely. So he's not broken. Just the way he's designed is is he's a sucky card. Which is why I was so excited about Giorgio coming into the game. And, by the way, if you are running an auger, if you like burning, Giorgio is still an epic officer that you should invest in. Okay? Because Giorgio procs at the beginning of the round as she should. Okay, and she uh, procs for two rounds. All right, which is great. So if you are lucky enough, you got two shots, you got two chances on an auger to get burning to proc before your obliterator f- weapon fires. And I'm here to tell you, even though uh, her starting officer ability is only a 50% proc, all right, even with Nero being promoted, because uh, what's Nero's proc rates? Nero's are, proc rates are pretty bad, too. Nero's proc rates, if he's maxed, is only 50%, folks. All right? And at Tier 1, it's only 25. Or Tier 2 is 30. Guys, Nero, if you can obtain Giorgio, Nero should never, ever, 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 ever be on your bridge ever again. So... I like Giorgio in the side card because her burning actually works at the beginning of the round. And because she procs at the beginning of the round, all other burning officers have an opportunity to proc as well, folks. Are you hearing me? You, if you were running burning officers that required burning at the beginning of the round and Giorgio procs, she procs first, and then your burning officers will fire. So Giorgio for her officer ability remains epic and remains worth it if you like burning what do you think community i'd like to get your feedback so leave your comments in the section below like this video and be sure to click on the subscribe button click the little bell notifier too to be notified of future content that's coming your way that way you are always in the know my name is ultimate djs this has been another teaching trek video we'll see you next time love you mean it bye-bye